So lo and behold, lo and behold, who should be standing in the sainted lady's driveway but the man. He's come to reclaim me. He's come to pick me back up. And despite myself, I started spazzing out. I'm an old dog. I don't really have that much shimmy or shake left in me. But, you know, with the, I got the tail wagon and the midsection was going one way and my head was going the other. Everything I was doing like I don't understand. I was so happy to see the man. Even though I'd become accustomed to my surroundings with Lenny, uh, the German Shepherd, the little poodle you know, the little poodle girl, I became pretty good friends with a little, I kind of became enamored with a little poodle girl. But anyways, it didn't matter. There's a couple Gonzo characters, a couple Muffets from Jim Henson's Muppet show. It's kind of weird. Uh, but I got used to it. Plus, I, I applied myself. I developed, you know, the poop through the fence. So most of the dog poop went on the outside of our little tiny pen that we got to go pee and poop in. And so I kept it a little cleaner. We had an accommodation with uh, the St. Bernard. He got the crap in the middle because he's too stupid, but we dug his holes and buried his crap for him. It worked out better that way. Uh, I thought the man would be a little bit more happy to see me or give me a couple good boys or something. The man kind of looked panicked. He looked a little white. I think the man, I don't know what happened. Something crazy happened on his little vacation or whatever it was. Uh, he didn't look himself, and he wasn't so happy to see me. It's as if he was just walking through a dream. I was so happy to see him. I said my goodbyes to all the other dogs and the sainted lady, and I hopped up into the car, and I was glad to be going down the road. We got lost. Somehow we got lost. We came out like 15 miles clo- you know, on the other side of our town. So we had the, you know, it was a nice scenic route we took. I, I saw some roads and stuff I hadn't seen before. But anyways, the man came and got me. Not too much fanfare, I might add. It didn't seem like it was such a big, whatever you would say, like it, they weren't having ticker tape parades or nothing like that. He seemed like he was uh, off in the distance. He seemed like he was someplace else. He wasn't really present. Me, I was happy as I could be. I was going home to the manor house, to our chambers, to our estates. Maybe I'd lay on the porch and look over and see if I see the little spray tan girl doing anything. Maybe, who knows, sometime Madame Yes may come back with a little girl dog. Arnie may come over. The man, I just could listen to the man's phone conversations. I'd be happy. Listen to the big RCA, watching the big RCA or a high def Sony in our chambers. Listening to the big Edison, just listening to the radio. Just maybe listen to a ball game on the radio and drowse on the sofa in the big parlor as all the light cascades through. That's going to be something. I can't wait to get back to that. It's been an exciting thing and I felt like I did a good job, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs>